And the BAFTA goes to Navalny. For some reason, they put the person who walks the slowest up first. Um, on behalf of director Daniel Lohr, our amazing crew, and our impact team, and CNN Films, who took a chance on this film when no one else would, we thank you, we thank BAFTA for this incredible honor. We are so humbled to be in the company of our fellow documentarians and filmmakers who made beautiful and inspiring films. I want to give a shout out to Daniel Rohr, our director who couldn't be here tonight because time machines from LA to London are really difficult. Um, but we know how hard it is to make any film and making this was the hardest of our career. Navalny was made under the constant threat of surveillance. We shot in secrecy. We went through extraordinary lengths to keep the footage secure. All emails ceased and production was communicated via encrypted messaging. And this is obviously nothing compared to what the people in our film endure every single day. We want to dedicate this award to Christo Grozev, our Bulgarian nerd with a laptop who could not be with us tonight because his life is under threat by the Russian government and Vladimir Putin. I met Christo in the summer of 2020. His life was fairly private then, and he gave up everything to tell this story and many other stories that need to be told. And lastly, this award is for the Navalny family and for Alexa himself. Yulia and Dasha are here with us today. And for the imprisoned leader of the Russian opposition, Alexei Navalny, who for months has been in solitary confinement for his condemnation of the war in Ukraine. May this award amplify his simple, essential message to us all. We cannot, we must not be afraid to act in opposition to authoritarians and to stand against authoritarianism wherever it rears its head. Thank you all.